Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And guys, 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 if you're not following me on Instagram, please make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. Thank you. <laughs> and if you want to join the chat box, make sure you do that. The link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join. You do have to be at least 18 years old. And girl, what? Let's get into it. So y'all done missed Tea Time Tuesday. Why? Because I was so hungry. I almost fainted in my kitchen yesterday. Child, listen. I went to bed. Like I only got about four hours of sleep prior to. Then I didn't eat the whole day at work in the office and got home and just felt lightheaded and just child I tried to eat I was just who child I just was tired so ain't nobody had time for all that but since I didn't get y'all tea time Tuesday I thought I would come on today with baby Aspen and for those that may not know Aspen is the prototype Aspen by Claire sculpted by Claire Teller painted by me he is um my baby for my personal collection he is not available for sale but since his hair, by the way, I'm just letting y'all know. I just slicked his hair down. He about to get a bonnet on so he can go to sleep. Um, because since y'all made such a big deal about his sister having straight, sip, straight little silky hair, he decided to lay his hair down because he said, girl, what? I can do it too. No. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, anyway, I just be trying to see if I like him with um, the straighter look or curly look. But I think I like him more. With his little curls. So let's get him some curls. But listen, let's get into it about this uh Andrew Isella um situation with these kids. So it's so much controversy going on about you know, is it unethical for her to uh open up a very sold out, sought after addition after many years and people have paid four and five hundred dollars for blank kits trying to get them all to find out that this heifer done went and opened up the addition girl she child you messing up church's money now people <laughs> people are mad and in their feelings and rightfully so in my opinion because baby guess what if i had a five hundred dollar kit sitting in here i'd be like hell for listen <laughs> You need to run me the difference because you just done messed up the game. Um, first of all, just for the record, I'm not even a fan of the open editions, to be honest. I just do it to support the real um sculptors out here because I know they gotta get their money and you know, everybody can't swirl and twirl on the pole, so they got to get it where they can get it. And you know, if they unlimiting their kits, make them make more money, then I'm going to support whatever way they decide to do because it's their work and their business. And if I love the doll, I'm going to buy it anyway. But what I, I, I miss is the true limited edition um, kits. Now what this is doing right now, this is messing with our brain. Like we kind of like now everybody's sitting up with their $500 kit blank kits that sold out saying, Oh Lord, is this sculptor finna, you know, do this? But girl, when the real tea came in, let's get into it. The real... <laughs> Oh, but what the real tea was is when True Born came on out and said, baby, put it on the line and said, how these big dealers supporting dishonest um, sculptors, basically like, in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, I felt like she was basically like calling Matt Fearson out saying basically like, um, y'all supporting this big, big business dealer. And she ain't got y'all best interest at heart. Y'all stop buying from her. Come buy from me. Holla at your girl over here. <laughs> girl, what? So Matt Fierce ended up throwing out a statement like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about my business. This is business. Nothing personal. Listen, buy it if you buy it. Don't buy it if you don't. Kiss my grits. I'm finna get paid. That's basically what they said in a nutshell. I mean, that's the way I saw it, right? So... Um, so people came back and some people were like, yeah, I understand. I feel you. And then some people was like, you a lying piece of crap, basically. You know, child, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't own one of the kids. First of all, I hated the hands on the first set of kids. It just was just not for me that ah, looking. I just, I, it wasn't my thing. But I love 
the Harper kit. I love the face on that kit. Uh, um, the face on that kit. So now she switched the arms, I think, on this second edition. Girl, listen, when I read, people say, oh, it's going to be a second limited edition. No, baby. Baby, why she say it's, she think it's going to be just an open edition? Baby, listen, not only did you open it up for a second time, you just done opened the floodgates to, for whatever, whenever. Ooh, child, listen. So, that's that. So, um, you know, my thing is... Oh, child, my thing is, do you buy the kit? You really want the kit? Like, I really wouldn't mind having a kit, that kit, in my personal collection. But what I'm not finna do, I don't know if I'll buy it. I'm not sure yet. But if you do buy it, just keep in mind that you may not make as much money off of it if you're buying it to sell as far as painted kits. Because people gonna boycott it. And people gonna be like, don't, don't buy the second one. That's what they're trying to do right now. So it's going to be a whole, that whole little thing like they did with Bountiful Baby at one point and was like, don't buy their kids. Da, 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 da. And people were scared to put their kids up. The kids weren't selling well. And then it goes back to normal. But um, quiet as it's kept, like Funky Dineva say, baby. Um, Matt Pearson finna be the new Bountiful Baby. They taking over the world. Y'all small um, people, y'all keep on. Y'all. Y'all gonna y'all gonna be out of business messing with McPherson. McPherson already. I mean, I know I I buy primarily all my kits through McPherson. Um, I don't buy my supplies through them. I still buy my supplies mostly through Bounty for Baby and then other places. I do, you know, I do deal with doll, dolls by Sandy. I bought one kit recently by Irresistible only because McPherson didn't have it. That's the truth, child. And you know, cause they had a little free shipping in this and the third, but. Um, yeah, you pretty much buy that. And now, and now they're doing silicone kits there, too. So, it's finna be all y'all little funky sculptors out there that be acting all stank with y'all stuff. Talking about you get a doll, you get a doll, you get a doll. Nope, you too dark, you too dark, you too dark. All that stuff right there, baby. We, we gonna be like, trick daddy. Be on need ya. No way, no how. Uh-uh. <laughs> Because we're going to be going straight to Matt Pearson. But I'm not supporting the, the um what do you call it? The Monopoly Syndrome. I don't know what you call it. But I'm not supporting that. I really want to see small businesses thrive and stuff like that. And do well as well. I don't want to see, you know, one company just eat, you know, the whole meal. I want everybody to be able to get a slice. Child, I'm supposed to be getting you dressed. Okay, so let's get him dressed. First of all, guys, I want to tell y'all. This is a commercial time. This little outfit was handmade by um Pat Green from Doll Makers. I think that's what it's called. Her thing. But she's Pat Green on Facebook. So she she made these little rumpers for him and Abby. I have another bib. And on the other bib on the back end, it has this same print on the back end as well. But she made the bibs. His, he has a bib that says Aspen. And he also has a bib that says Miss Randy Smith Babies. And his little rumpum. So, um, shout out to her. She always do very high quality work. Her stuff look almost store bought. Um, this is a little bib. It's not a little flimsy bib. It's kind of got backing and stuff. Um, she always, like I said, always make very high quality, um, clothes. Her stitching is really nice. Um, like, it's got the little loop, you know, so I could crisscross in the back, you know. Being he cloth body, I didn't put him on an undershirt. The next time, because I seen Miss um, Linda put her baby on a, a, um undershirt under hers. And I think I'll do that next time. But, child, I was just trying to be fancy. Look at my little and yes, been poo. But, yeah. um, So... I just love looking at his little mouth. <laughs> I, and I've never been that big on the whole mouth thing. But it's just so cute. I just be wondering like how these sculptors do what they do. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Um, so see it's got the little buttons on the back. It's really cute. I mean and the buttons are in the inside actually. And then yeah. So I got one for my micro creamy. As well, so when I put, when I get him dressed, 
We'll be good. So we getting all undressed, mama. Yes, we is. So if y'all don't know the other the other tiers, baby, I don't I'm selling I'm selling a lot of my personal babies. Um I'm going in phases. So um I've already sold both of my Sam's Cups. So major, can y'all believe it? Yes, major is gone. Um my new Sam that I just painted, that one is already gone. Um well, they're not. They're gonna be shipped. They, they've, they already been adopted. So I have to get them packed up to go. I was planning on listing them later this week, but people contacted me ahead of time, and I just went ahead and, and you know, baby, I'd be about. Hey, listen, you got the money, I got the baby. Let's make it do what it do. So match made in heaven. We um. So those are gone. I'm on the fence about Kingsley. Mm, not quite sure yet if I will let Kingsley go. I need to make sure I can get a, I don't know. We'll see. So, um, so that one is another one that's a possibility. I'm just kind of scanning the room. I don't think I have anything else. Lily Grace won't go anywhere Phoenix won't go anywhere. I had somebody contact me about Phoenix. I'm like, uh, no, not Phoenix. Um, cause as y'all know, I really paint toddlers and getting them rooted and all that stuff is a whole fiasco. So yeah. Um, I am planning on having some more babies next month. Um, and I also plan on hopefully, um, at some point having some rooted when I get done rooting my last, my very last custom, I am going to take my time and try to root at least one vinyl baby myself and see how that goes. So eventually I will root some, be rooting some of my vinyl by myself. That will kind of help. But, um, you know, as always, you know, I reached out to Mondo from First Time Reborn, um, from Instagram, a lot of you guys may know her, and asked her, you know, is she taking any rooting jobs? And she did tell me yes. So, um, you know, I'm just letting, you know, people know there's a couple people out here that root, um, that will root for you. So, you buy the baby ball, you can get it rooted there. I don't want to be a part of the coordination or anything because. I only want to be liable for my work. So that would be between you and your rooter. But that's, you know, I will probably get quite a bit of ball babies painted um, after, you know, I finish rooting. And then um, as I can get them rooted, I will get them rooted. But in between time, if they sell ball, I'm going to sell them ball and um, keep it trucking. So um, I got some kit suggestions um, from a couple of, you know, previous customers that they're looking for a couple certain babies, some of the bigger babies. Um, so I'm going to try to paint some of them. So, you know, I know my video sounds a lot different from the other day, but I'm just trying to put things in perspective. Um, as the pressure comes off of me, I'm sure I'll feel better. There's just been a lot going on as you know, but child, what else been going on in the news, honey? Cause listen, we got time. I do have the giveaway baby and he is actually, I'm, I had to wait on his mommy for the address. So he is actually ready to go and will be going as well. So, um, there's that. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah. So I got, um, that going on um i'm expecting two more babies um from different artists both are different artists um both are artists that i've never had babies from before so we'll have box openings coming um so which is why i am actually clearing out a lot i'm also going to be working on a very very special baby which might take me forever but i'm gonna get them and um you guys know i've already said that and i'm not gonna go over all that but i got a lot going on that's you know that's gonna be going on but that's you know when i pleasure paint is different 
Um, I don't, you know, I don't feel the pressure because if it don't come out right, oh well, you know, because nobody's waiting on the other end of the rainbow for it. Um, it's a lot of pressure. Um, artists really have a lot of pressure on them when they do, you know, custom orders, and I get that. Um, and, you know, I just, yeah. So that's that, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. But guys, let me know in the comment section, do you think that whole situation, is it, you know, are you good with her opening it up? Do you think that that's wrong for people to do? I just think it's not ethical. I think she has the right to do whatever she wants, but at the same time, I don't even want to say that really, do she really have the right to do that? Because isn't that like, that is straight. If you sell a kit and it's a limited edition, you sold it on false printed pretense because then you opened it back up. And the only reason she switched the arms is because people was in outrage, but that's not going to make it better because you still use the same face. And the excuse of that it's going to stop illegal copies, I don't think that that's going to help it and I don't think that was the intent. I think that and I can't, you know, that's just 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 my opinion, so we all got one. You know, like my mama say, you know, opinion is just like a whole everybody got one. So here's mine. I just feel like you know it was a popular scope. Now everybody doing unlimited editions, you like that would have been the perfect unlimited edition cuz you would have made so much money off that edition. So a lot of people want to unlimit the most popular no. No. No, it's not fair to the people who are sitting there holding those kids. I, I have to agree 1,000%. And I'm telling you right now, I do not like it. Sam, I am. I do not like it on a train. I do not like it on a plane. I do not like it. I do not like it. But at the same time, what in the world can y'all do? Nothing. So go buy your kid. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry for y'all, for real. I am so sorry for y'all because I would be livid. I would be living. I have one kit in here that I paid, um, you know, a decent amount for, and that is a sold out kit, which is Knox. That's the only kit I got in here is Knox. And at the way I'm feeling right now, I might don't even want that. I listen, y'all want to buy Knox? <laughs> Cause if I don't have nobody to pay, I don't feel like paying. It's got an old funny color vinyl. And I don't feel like all that. So if I can't find about the painting, I'ma sell that kit. Sorry. Not sorry. There's a whole bunch of other kids out here now. So anyway, it is what it is. I wish y'all the best in y'all kit hunt and kit fight. Let me know who wins. Baddest man hit my hand. <laughs> Tag your it. <head. laughs>